Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel for another painting tutorial. This is a 9x12 double primed and stretched canvas pre-painted with grey. And I just used two coats of this Americana Deco Art Slate Grey. You can use any grey um, that you want or have or just take a bit of white and black and make it yourself. I'm going to be using Mars Black Titanium White and create this winter landscape in a grayscale black and white. Uh, and then I'm going to show you um, in a second part how to add color to it. So I'm going to start this painting with my number 30 filbert brush and I'm just going to take a little bit of black. We're going to make this really, really simple, easy to follow along for everybody. So just a little bit of black. My brush has a little bit of water in it. And I'm just going to find the center of the canvas just a little bit more water and I'm going to go across the center add a little bit more water again and reload my brush and then I'm going to go up I'm going to leave a little like half an inch space from the top of the canvas and then almost all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to come in the sides and just gently flick off the canvas, just the edge of the canvas. Do the same thing on the other side. The trick is to leave a little bit of gray exposed. And then what I'm going to do is just gently pull down. And then I'm going to rinse my brush out and I'm going to switch over to a one inch round mop brush. It's dry and I'm going to take a little bit of white and just tap, tap, tap. And I'm going to start adding some bushes and trees along the side by leaving a little bit of the gray canvas exposed, we get that mid-tone. So we have some black, some gray, and some white. I'm gonna come on the right side and do the same thing, this time starting right in the corner. I'm going to take a little bit more and I'm going to start right from the top and pull. I'm going to do that again from the top, pull down. And then gently sweep. I'm going to go down to a one inch angle mop brush. Again, it's dry and I'm just going to tap one side of it. So it looks like this, gently just pushing and tapping and it's kind of flattened. Then I'm going to add a few little bushes in here. And then right underneath, I'm going to line my brush up and pull and drop and then go across again to give it a reflection in the water.
We'll just add a few more. Little taps. Let the brush create those soft looking little bushes. Gonna load my brush up again, nice and pushed flat. I'm gonna go off the top, pull and drop. I'm gonna take a number 16 filbert brush with a little bit of water. and just blend lightly. Then go off the top again. I'm gonna bring this down. I'm going to come in from here on an angle with my brush with more white and drop a few more waterfalls. I'm going to take a little bit of black now with a clean brush, wiggle and get a little bit of it on the end of the brush. I'm just going to sweep underneath. Pull and drop a little bit more. I'm gently going to pull up right in here. I'm going to add a few lines in here for some stairs. I'll just add a little bit more depth here by pushing and going up and over slightly with some more black. That way we get some height, maybe some rocks or some round looking bushes. And then I'm gonna pull in with a little bit of black on my brush still. either side. With a clean brush, I'm going to wiggle number 16 filbert brush still, take a bit of white and I'll add a highlight to my stairs, just a little white line right above the black. And then just a really soft reflection in the water. And then a few little half circles with some more white. I'm going to use a liner brush 
to add some tree trunks and branches. I'm getting my brush really wet and I'm going to take some white. You can do this in black or white or both. Black first and then white for a highlight or white first and then black for a shadow. I'm going to start with white and I'm going to where we pulled and flipped up with a little bit of black. I'm just going to go and wiggle down here, wiggle and then curve up. And add a few branches just with the tip of my brush really gently And then I'll add a few branches tucked in these trees over here. So to make them really, really delicate and thin looking, you want to hardly touch the canvas at all. So very, very little pressure and give it a gentle little wiggle as you're pulling it across. I'll have another one coming out over here and then from that big branch I'll add a few more smaller ones. I take a little bit of water on my brush and just twirl it around Get it nice and tight again. The trick is to have enough water in your liner brush to be able to pull these little lines our branches easily out of your brush. It can be a little bit challenging with a liner brush. You've got to make sure you have enough water and paint. People tend to use, beginners tend to use more paint, too much paint at first. Now I'm going to take a little bit of black, clean brush, same liner brush here. Just going to add a little bit more of a shadow to make this tree more visible because I'm pretty much adding, I've added the white onto white with all the bushes in the background. So just to make it a little bit more visible. We can make it stand out by adding a little bit of black here. You don't have to add it to every branch. I think this stands out enough up here. I like that, kind of just disappears off into the white. I'm going to go back over to my filbert brush. This is a number 16. And I'm going to add 
another layer over top and see how I'm going right over that baseline that's going to give me that reflection that we've been working on and then we'll take a little bit of white see the whites on the very tip of my brush add a little bit more on this one make these ones a little more visible and then again so as long as you go down and across you'll really create that water reflection look the easiest way to make it look like water. I'm going to add another layer of highlights to the stairs. Okay, with a clean and dry mop brush again, I'm going to go back into my white. Notice how I'm not going straight up and down like this. It's really important. Don't load your brush like that. You're going to get way too much paint on your brush. Kind of just sneak in and pull a little bit at a time and then do a light little tap. That way you're going to keep that shape. And I'm going to add a fresh highlight down here and another one here right in front of those stairs. So that really puts this in the foreground and those stairs kind of mid ground. going to add a little bit to these branches. It's going to be a little bit heavier with the amount of white that I'm using. And then I tap a little, little bit right in here, nice and flat. We've got a little grassy area here. Just to sit and view the beautiful waterfall. Okay, so just a little bit there at the base. And the next thing I'm going to do is completely dry this off. Now it looks very pretty in black and white and you can, of course can leave it black and white but I want to show you guys uh, something really interesting um, that you can do with a black and white or grayscale painting and that's to completely dry it off and then come over top and add a filter or a glaze and it works best if you're using a transparent paint and the paint that I'm going to be using today is my pink so I've done up many many purple blue and turquoise and black and white scenes um, similar to this not exactly like this um, but I really want to show you guys a pink one I think this would be really different and pretty and I'm even going to add a little bit of glitter to it at the end and show you that you can make your own wall art for the season and for Christmas and it can look really pretty you can use this whole design um, on an ornament. You can um, paint this and add glitter to any surface you like. It can be a, a greeting card or like I've mentioned a Christmas ornament and I've got a ton of tutorials on how to make your own Christmas ornaments hand painted from scratch and dollar store dollar tree materials on a budget. Um, but I'll leave the links down below for that and I'll quickly dry this off and we'll add our pretty luminous pink. Okay, so now that this painting is all dry, I'm going to apply a little bit of my neon pink. You can use any transparent color that you want. This is just what I'm choosing to use today, but no matter what color you choose, it's going to look so pretty and you're going to love it. And like I said, you can also just leave it black and white and add a little bit of glitter and gloss at the end as well. That would look really nice. 
Okay, so I'm going to be using my number 30 filbert brush. I've washed it and dried it off, but I can't dry it completely. There's a little bit of water in there, uh, and that's just the right amount that I need to help add this glaze. Now, there are glazing mediums. I'm doing the same thing, just with a little bit of water and transparent paint, but you can purchase a glazing medium to help your acrylics flow across the canvas. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of paint here, wiggle it out of my brush, so I don't have too, too much paint on my brush. And I'm just gonna start applying it over top. So see how delicate, soft and pretty that looks? It's up to you how much you want to add. You can add just hints of it here and there. You can add a few different colors. Incorporate some phthalo green, blue, purple, you name it, any color of your choice. I actually don't want to add any more than this. I think this is soft and delicate and I really like the way it looks. And now I'm going to show you how to add some glitter. I will dry this off completely and then come in and add the glitter with um, a bit of Mod Podge. You can use any uh, sealer or glue that you want. Make sure that it's see-through and, and it dries clear. You really don't want to alter the color right? You don't want to use anything that may yellow. And so I'll show you not only the glitter I'm using, but uh, the Mod Podge that I'm using as well to apply. So I've got this fine glitter. It's iridescent, so it's not going to take away from the painting. It's just going to add to it. Very, very subtle and beautiful. Add a little bit of sparkle. And I'm going to be applying Mod Podge gloss. I want it to be shiny. And because this is going to be part of my uh, decor for the holidays, for Christmas, I want it shiny and sparkly. And I'm going to go ahead and dry this off and then apply the Mod Podge. And I'll show you everything from start to finish and how to finish the side of the painting as well. I always like to give my Mod Podge a little shake. And I'm going to apply the Mod Podge over the entire canvas. So I'm going to start up at the top. And I'm going to do this quickly because it will dry quickly and I need to add my glitter to it while it's wet. Okay, so it looks a little bit milky, like we've added a whitewash, but that's going to dry clear. And now I'm going to use a little bit of my glitter. I'll just add a little bit in my hand, the palm of my hand here for you to see. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and completely dry this off and then we'll paint the sides. I'm just going to take this out of the easel so that I can move it around and you can see where it's really sparkly. So I just added extra glitter here, a few different areas here, here, and here, and then had it just really subtle in the other areas. And I'm going to finish the edges of this painting with black. You could make yours um, glittery. You could apply some of the Mod Podge and just kind of dip the edges once they're wet in some glitter. And you can also um, place your painting in a frame. That would look really pretty. Um, and you can paint the edges any color that you want, 
or you can leave it as is, but I'm gonna paint them black and I get a lot of questions asking how to finish, how I finish the sides of my painting. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys right now. And I'm just gonna use regular black paint. And I'm gonna use a smaller filbert, a filbert or a flat, whatever you feel comfortable with. And this is a number 10. I'm gonna get just a little bit wet and I've actually just got some craft paint here. This is folk art. It's called licorice, but any black paint will do. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and I just hold the sides and rest the canvas on something. I'm just gonna use the easel and just carefully go across the side of the canvas. I personally like black for painting the sides of my paintings. It finishes it off so nicely and looks like a frame. Okay, reload my brush, come along the bottom. I just want to do this quite carefully around the sides of your painting. You want to be mindful of the very edge here, the very bottom and base of your painting. So I have in the past and once in a while I will apply gold leaf. Gold leaf comes in many different shades, copper, rose gold, silver, yellow gold, soft gold. Um, there's so many different options. So I've done that as well. That's a lot more tricky, but I do have um, an 18 karat gold felt pen that I have applied to the sides of my paintings to finish them off as well. And it's really, really beautiful. So just to give you an idea how pretty that looks. Okay, well, this was so much fun. I hope you guys got a lot from this tutorial today. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. There's a subscribe button there. It's free and tap the bell so that you don't miss out on any of my upcoming tutorials. I upload quite often here as well as Patreon. I've got some exclusive, amazing tutorials for my patrons to say thank you as well as some gifts and lots of benefits. So you can go check that out as well. Thank you in advance for all your support, any donations. If you're here for uh, this live, then I appreciate uh, you guys being here and all of your uh, donations super thanks and super chats and i'll see you guys soon in my next video take care everybody thanks for watching